Welcome to Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater. Now, here's your host, Lisa Condit. Hello and thank you everybody for tuning in today to Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater. I am so thrilled to be here today with two representatives from Worcester State University. We have Jane Grant, the Director of Leadership Giving, and of course Renee Lias Claffey. She is the Assistant to the President for Campus Communications. Welcome ladies. Thank you, Lisa. Pleasure to talk to you today. Good morning, yes. Looking forward to our talk. <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure to talk to anybody from Worcester State University, but I especially love talking to Jane Grant. I've known Jane for a long time now because Jane has been involved with the Hanover Theater since before our opening. So welcome again. It's been a labor of love, Hanover Theater, and being a, a part of this community. It's, um, I saw it from, from before it was even a thought with, with Ed Medaus and Paul DeMoga, and as one of the founding board members of the theater it was it's just been an honor so truly it's been an honor for me too jane and you know what when you were talking about that it brought me right back to my first day at the hanover theater when all the scaffolding was still up to all of the ceilings in the theater and i got to touch the dome i know you were part of those hard hat tours and you are not exaggerating at all when you talk about the labor of love not just with you, but all the founding board members, all the original philanthropists and donors who really made it happen, of course, the staff and volunteers as well. So we've all been on a big journey here, and I'm really thrilled that we're continuing on. Do you two want to talk about your roles at Worcester State University, how long you've been there, and what you're doing? Sure, absolutely. I joined the the Office of University Advancement uh, four and a half years ago and um, in November, and my role, uh, as you mentioned, my title is Director of Leadership Giving, and I uh, come to the university with some strong community relationships, um, and I work closely with our alumni and corporate partners to really build support for our academic programs, for scholarships, for academic achievement awards, for our students, um, internships. So it's it's I get to work pretty much with with every facet of the university, not only students, of course, but um, bringing corporate support uh, and alumni support to to our university initiatives. And I just want to say that I need to give a major plug to the students that I've had the pleasure of working with from Worcester State University. We've had interns as well as staff people here. One of them is in my department, Jake Poplaski, and he is such a good representative of Worcester State University. I find that all the students I interact with really have their head on straight. They're very focused. They have a great work ethic. And I think that that is really one of the advantages to going to Worcester State University is the surrounding community. It really seems to work. And I notice a lot of your students stay in the Worcester area, which I also really love. How about you, I was, Renee? I was just going to reiterate that, Lisa. Sorry, Renee, um, to say that our students, once they graduate, you know they've they've been working two and three jobs to maintain their their level of education, and once they graduate, they stay in this community and then go on to work with our corporate partners. You know, so thank you for knowing that, Lisa. Yeah, um, this is Renee again, and um, I, I I'm pleased to be here with Jane. She's she's got the history of this community, and she's embedded in this community. Uh, by contrast, I'm kind of a blow-in. I've been here at Worcester State for three years um, and proud to serve under President Maloney's leadership. I oversee all of the campus communications, everything from our PR um, and our news site to uh, internal messaging, um, president's messaging, as well as media relations. Um, and it's, it's great. I, I uh, blew in from uh, UMass Wall where I spent 18 years in the communications and marketing operation there. So um, it's work that I really love to do, and I've just been amazed at what a wonderful city Worcester is. I did have some connections with Worcester early on in my career when I worked for um, a state senator from uh, the South Worcester District um, many, many years ago. Uh, but um, and I'm just pleased to see how it's grown and how things like the Hanover have have uh, come come along and and the arts is just thriving here in the city and it, it's been really exciting to see what Worcester has to offer. You know what, Renee? I'm so glad you mentioned that because I am thrilled at what's happening here in Worcester too. 
I didn't start out in Worcester. I started out in Boston, and then I moved to Northampton for my career. And I have to tell you, working in Worcester has been the biggest pleasure. I find the city so accessible. I find the people that work here so committed to making the city a better place. We are New England's second largest city, and we have a thriving cultural arts community and a lot of very dedicated people who are committed to making this a better city year over year. And we have seen that, haven't we, Jane, over the last nine years? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it's it's exciting to have an influx of, of new folks. Renee, we're so thrilled to have you. And Lisa, uh, you have been a, a joy to work with at the theater. So, you know, time to move closer to Worcester. Right. <laughs> no, I love where I live. It's still in Worcester County, and I love coming here to Worcester every day. And you know, know what? I have to say that Worcester is my favorite place I that I have worked. <laughs> Over Boston and over Northampton, and those are two opposites. Worcester is right there in the middle, both geographically and culturally, and I just, I love it. So I want to give recognition. Worcester State University has really stepped up as a co-sponsor of Motown the Musical, which is one of the seven shows that are included in our Broadway subscription series. That show is coming to the Hanover Theater next Memorial Day weekend, May 23rd to 28th in 2017. And we are thrilled to have this show. For for people who haven't heard of it before, I know you've heard of the music, right, Jane? Absolutely. <laughs> and so this particular musical, it began as one man's story, and it became everyone's music. That's what they say. It's now a Broadway musical, Motown the Musical. It's the true American dream story of the Motown founder, Barry Gordy's journey from, I can't even believe, a featherweight boxer to the heavyweight music mogul who launched the careers of the real greats, Diana Ross, Michael Jackson, Smokey Robinson, and many, many more. What really strikes me is I recognize every single solitary song in this musical. It's sh- Motown, as we all know, it shattered barriers, it shaped our lives, and it made us all move to the same beat, you know, and it Some of the songs that are in this musical, we all love, like the classic songs, My Girl and Ain't No Mountain High Enough. And I always love the musicals that tell us the story behind the music. And that, I think, is one of the reasons that Motown the Musical was a record-breaking smash hit on Broadway, and we're thrilled to have it here in Worcester. And, And Worcester State is actually really thrilled to be sponsoring that show. Those songs transcend all age groups and all time. So I think with all the remakes of those uh, of some of the songs that you just mentioned, truly it's it's um, appealing to all ages. 